Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Albert Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today we're checking out a brand new base builder. It's a bit of a colony sim, it's a bit of an underground mining sort of base builder. Is very, very cool. This is Adaptory. This is an early build of the game. It's a little bit rough around the edges, uh, but hopefully you'll be able to grasp pretty quickly what attracted me to showcasing uh, a game like this. It really is very, very interesting. Right, let's jump into things as ever. I'll do my very best to explain what the heck is happening. Uh, we are going to be jumping in with this starting team. Do I particularly care? Uh, I don't think I don't think we do. Uh, I think we're pretty happy and contented uh, with this team. So let us jump into things right about now. Okay, the premise for this is that we have crashed our spaceship. Uh, you and your crew have been sent by the International Space Exploration Agency to search the farthest reaches of the galaxy for a new planet to call home. At last, you've located a promising... Uh, promising candidate. Your coordinates are set, the autopilot switched on, all that's left is to settle in for six months of cryosleep. Until you crash land here. This video is brought to you by Starbreeze, the publishers of The Tribe Must Survive. If you can wishlist this game on Steam and check out the demo that is participating in the Steam Next Fest right now, it is linked down in the description below. The Tribe Must Survive is a tribe builder with a generous splash of survival, base building, and rogue-like elements. Whatever it takes, you've got to ensure that the tribe must survive. Set in a gloomy Lovecraftian Stone Age, the Tribe Must Survive is about finding ways to grow and to protect your tribe from what lurks in the shadows around. All your tribe members have their own personality and will, leading them to do mostly what they want. Fortunately, you can manipulate them with rituals, buildings, upgrades, and other difficult decisions to get things done. Whatever it takes, the tribe must survive. If you like base builders, then I highly recommend that you give the demo a go. Again, linked down in the description below. Wishlist the game as well if you're interested. It comes out on February the 22nd, so you've got time to play the demo and, uh, and see what you think. Anyway, linked down in the description below, and now let's get back to it. So, what are we going to be doing? Well, let's see if we can try and explore, excavate, and maybe build up a little bit of a base in the meantime. Uh, we've got our four characters here. Uh, we have got some some doors, uh, which lead to the vacuum of space. Uh, not very not very nice. Um, and it looks like we got a little a little uh, a little damage on the back of our rocket here. The interior of our rocket is very very basic. Uh, we've only got a couple of actions at the moment. However, I think we're going to immediately sort of like get to work on digging and excavating. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of different buildings that we can sort of build down here. Uh, you are not stuck down there. That's cool, but you're going to be stuck down there if if you're not careful. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of uh, a couple of different buildings that we can and will be building. Uh, I'm going to start with the ladder. I'm going to start with the ladder. Now, the objective for this mission here is pretty darn simple. Uh, we have got a distress transmitter, and it needs to be powered up, and we need to collect enough of the resource called transmitite. Uh, that is this green stuff. So that's what we're going to be trying to collect. Uh, I don't necessarily think that that will be the end game objective when it fully releases, uh, but for now, that is our objective. Now, these colonists are all very, very happy all sitting pretty until, of course, the oxygen decides to go. So, yes, very, very similar to sort of oxygen not included. You've got this sort of blocky uh, oxygen overlay interface sort of situation here. Uh, we can see that there's a little bit of carbon dioxide just kicking around. But most of the environment is pretty oxygenated at the moment. Temperature-wise, everything looks pretty good temperature-wise. Uh, power overlay, we've got no power. That isn't powered up. That isn't powered up at all. And we've also not got anything in our liquid network. So yeah, I think what we would like to do is keep on expanding our ladder downwards. That's completely fine. Um, what are these ladders made from? They're made from dirt. Okay, I mean, that's completely fine. Let's continue to let's continue to excavate downwards. There's some buried objects over here, which I'm very very interested in uh, in accessing. And let's also see if we can try and nab all of this other stuff. Ooh, okay, that looks like it was an oxy can. Um, an oxy can is uh, a pretty interesting bit of kit, and in fact, it's probably going to be 
the first thing that we build. Oxygen is uh, oxygen is supplied through an oxygen candle holder. Burns oxy cans to create oxygen. Uh, yeah, let's build one up there, and then we'll try and build one down this hole as well. What is this, granite? Am I going to be able to get through this granite down here? We can try. I'll see if I can try and expand out to here. Nab all the stuff that I need to. Excellent. Okay. The oxygen is being produced in the candle holder. That is excellent. That's exactly what we like to see happening. Uh, looks like we can get through the granite as well. We can get through the coal, obviously. Uh, that is going to be pretty darn useful. Let's see if we can try and expand out here. And we'll see if we can try and go this way as well. Sure. Okay. No difficulties thus far. All looking pretty darn good. We'll build another oxy can down here. Uh, there should be plenty of oxygen down this hole. I mean, maybe not plentiful amounts, but there's enough. There's enough at least for now. Okay, what else have we got? We've got a battery. Stores unused electricity to discharge later. We've got a bed. Uh, we've got a coal generator. We've got a door. Uh, we've got a ladder, which we're already utilizing. Lights, pipes, a pump, vent oxygen oxygen generator uses power and water to generate oxygen and hydrogen needs to be connected to a liquid press uh we'll see if we can try and we'll see if we can try and uh, we'll see if we can try and get that up and running okay solar panels converts light into electricity the only problem with solar panels is that uh we're gonna need to build them out here and i'm really not completely convinced at all that i have the capability to do that let's keep going let's keep going deeper and deeper and deeper um the oxygen the oxygen thingy has turned off. We can turn it on. Uh, it automatically turns off after use, so we can re-enable it if we want to. I don't think that we particularly want to do that right at this present moment. Okay, let's see if we can also try and get ourselves... Sure, I'll try and expand out that way. I'll try and expand out that way. There's only four, there's only four of these colonists, so we can afford to take a little bit of time. Uh, we'll see if we can try and maybe nab some beds... These are maybe not amazing sleeping conditions, but that's fine. Uh, we'll build a tile like there. We'll get the beds up and running. I think everybody should be fine with that. Wow, it is really, really hot in here. Like, unbearably hot. Why is it so flippin' hot? It's 99 degrees Celsius. Maybe all of the exertion? I'm not too sure. I guess people should go, you know, go for a bath. The water looks pretty... The water looks pretty nice out there. Yeah, 92 degrees Celsius. I mean, that is... That is absolutely boiling. That is roasty, toasty, roasty, toasty. Uh, we've got our stuff up in the top right-hand corner here, which is quite nice. Do I want to see if we can try and nab a tree? I'll, I'll grab a tree, sure. I really want to... How do I get outside to do these solar panels? That's the real question. If I put that there, is that going to is that gonna endanger somebody? Or am I going to... Am I going to trans, uh, transform into a space-suited individual? Uh, also, we found a, an artifact. The air shimmies and reverberates as Ma 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 Mala has unburied what appears to be an ancient tablet. Whilst it's written in an unknown language, it seems like there might be more of them scattered around the world. Okay, uh, I don't know where that old tablet actually went. I think it's under here. A mysterious collection of symbols and shapes. Okay, that's fine. Uh, how much do we have? Supply 2,000 kilograms. Supply goal is 2,500 kilograms of transmetite. So we're not actually a million miles away from that. That's pretty good. See if we can nab a few more a few more bits and bobs. We still need to get this whole thing powered up, and if, if that is the only transmetite that we really need to get, then that is that is amazing. But I feel like that can't be it, right? You've decided to sleep. Uh that's fine, honestly. Because I haven't made you a bed yet. That's okay. You should only be snoozing for a little bit here, which is completely fine. We'll get that bed built. You can snooze in the bed. And then... Let's keep going down. Let's keep going down. I want to explore more. Uh, we will try and get this transmetite stuff, though. Cool. 
How are we doing auction-wise? Yeah, I mean, things are okay. Things are okay auction-wise. I mean, it's not it's not as good down the hole as it is at the top of the hole. That's kind of to be anticipated, honestly. You know, a little variety, a little spice of life. That's completely fine. Um, space exposure, apparently you're completely... You're completely fine to be outside. Well, I'm just going to say that I think that that's a little bit weird. And uh, I wish that that wasn't the case. Okay. How about that? And how about nabbing a battery over here? What about two batteries right over yonder? Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Supplied 2,250 kilograms. That's okay. Let's continue through here then, shall we? And up over to there. Is that the only transmetite that is actually in, uh, in range? I think it might be. I am so surprised that there is enough oxygen out here for you not to immediately die. There, the vacuum is over here, but there is apparently enough oxygen to be non-zero in this vicinity. Well, I'm happy about that, obviously. Let's build a ladder here so that we can get this light connected. That'd be kind of nice. I also feel like I should build a liquid pump as well, and we're also going to see if we can try and get ourselves a coal generator, and maybe also an oxygen generator. I'd love to start experimenting with the liquid pump. Yeah. It only takes dirt. Everything takes 500 kilograms of dirt. You've got to imagine that not many other... Not many other uh, items, ground types have been added to the game. That's fine, though. I can live with that. You're still just chilling outside. Wow, that is so bold of you. That is that is really, really strange. Uh, yeah, we found artifacts. That's fine. I don't think the artifacts do anything, but I'm not sure. Uh, it dumps the content, contents of any liquid pipe. We should definitely start, like, pumping stuff around. I do want to... I do want to see what's going on over here. Like, this area looks pretty... pretty big. Um... Let's do that. Okay. Looks like the... Looks like we're 100% ready to transmit the distress call. I'm gonna try it. Is that it? That's it for the demo, apparently. That that doesn't seem like a tremendously large amount of uh, of stuff in the demo. I've, I've got to be honest. Uh, but let's see if we can try and maybe see if we can get this pump going. Requires foundation. Uh, that's unfortunate. Let's see if we can try and build the foundation over here. Can we go deeper? I don't know how long people can hold their voice hold their voices for. have to cancel 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 deconstruct right see if we can see if we can try and go a little bit deeper i'd love to i'd love to do some liquid pumping around okay and then what about we reconstruct a little box over here what about that this is where we can try and move all of the water to oh there's a meteor a meteor is coming okay uh, and there's also low oxygen. Where is the low oxygen? Down here. I mean, you mean underwater? Uh, actually, tell you what, there is a little bit of... A little bit of a little bit of a discrepancy. We could probably do with turning on that. And turning on this as well. We get that all set up. That should be good. Okay. The good news is, though, I think... I think we can get ourselves this pump set up over here. There we go. We're going to turn on the uh, the oxygen candle for now, at least. We'll get this all completely built. And then we'll see if we can start pumping some stuff around. Okay. Uh, am I going to be able to build a pipe? Yeah, I'm totally able to build a pipe on the ladder, which is fine. Cancel that because we don't need to worry about it. We'll just We'll just get the pipes. And then I would love to build a vent right over here and then pump up all of the pipework into the vent. Okay. 
Can I explore a little bit more? I don't think that there's going to be a tremendously large amount of additional stuff to explore, but we're going to do it nonetheless. Everybody's decided to sleep. That's completely fine. Uh, I can mark this priority as urgent, which I think I will do. In fact, why don't I just mark all of this as urgent? Even if it's not necessarily. Ooh, do I need to get um do I need to get power down here? I absolutely do. And I do have power capability, but I don't have it, I don't have it all the way down here. Uh let's see if we can try and nab the coal generator. I haven't actually experimented with that yet, so let's go and do that too. Okay, there's a lot of there's a lot of constructions that are waiting to take place. But I think we can I think we can manage. Maybe maybe cut back on the cut back on the digging a little bit. Cut back on the digging. That should be completely fine. So yeah, what else is gonna be added into the game once things progress a little bit further? We've got a tree that's that's already that's fine. Starved of lights. Okay, well, I mean, geez Louise, what's the tree expecting? You can't have everything. You can't have everything. Um yeah, what else have we got in here? Gas network overlay, not available at the moment. Light overlay isn't available. Automation isn't available at the moment. And the beauty overlay also is not available at the present moment. I should point out, like, as well, the this game obviously takes some pretty heavy inspiration from Oxygen Not Included. And I think one of the sort of things that I will be looking... Oh, we need to connect you up as well, don't we? One of the sort of uh, very important factors that I will be looking for is how does it manage to differentiate itself? I mean, it's all good and well it currently looking, you know, like this and having a slightly different objective and the sort of spaceship theming. I like it. I really, I really like it. Uh, but I'd love to see, I'd love to see what more it does than Oxygen Not Included in order to try and, you know, make itself, uh, make itself special, make itself interesting. Anyway, uh, you know, through the power of editing, uh, let's see if we can try and skip forward in time to when all of this construction stuff is actually built. And just like that, we are like 95% done. Uh, there is a little bit of an oxygen shortage, but I was kind of like letting that happen uh, because I'm hopefully going to start to see things develop here. Ooh, what do we got here? We had a little, uh, little light show happening down there. Anyway, uh, we should now be able to start to see a little bit of water making its way up the pipe here. Uh, we've got a battery system, which is looking pretty darn good. Very, very happy with that. Very, very nice. And we should... There we go. Look at that. We're actually outputting hydrogen and oxygen, both from this... Both from this generator over here, uh, which is pretty darn nice. And we're also starting to move the water around and up and around the base. Very, very nice indeed. Oh, there is sand as well. There's clearly a few more resources, but I mean, look, I think I got, I think I got them, uh, I think I got most of them. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think this is probably a pretty good place to wrap things up, uh, ladies and gents. This is Adaptory. Uh, there's not a lot here at the moment, truthfully, and what is here is definitely oxygen not included. But as I say, I think this is a really, really strong foundation, you know, with, uh, with which to work from. And now I just want to see how is this game going to differentiate itself from uh, from Oxygen Not Included. I'm very, very interested to see how that ends up working out. Anyway, uh, what do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. But uh, for now and for me, man, of course, has been Obito Potato. I'll catch you next time. Bye.